Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. As you can see, I'm currently on Google Photos and here is a video that I have recorded and backed up onto Google Photos. I've been doing that quite a lot, especially since my main phone is a Google Pixel. I back up all my photos and videos on here on this website. So if I wanna download this video, I'm gonna click download. So you can see that I'm downloading this video from the web Google Photos to my hard drive. And then what I want to do with this file is I want to import it into Premiere Pro. So if I open up this folder, here is a file that I've downloaded from Google Photos and it plays fine. It plays fine in VLC. You can see it's all working in VLC. But as soon as I want to drag it into Premiere Pro, so here is a project about my rope climbing, and I want to drag in this file. I want to drag this file onto Premiere Pro, and look what it says. File uses unsupported video compression type. And if I drag it in, it'll only import the audio, not the video. The video doesn't come in. Only the audio comes in. So then what I have to do to fix that is I then need to go back to the web. I need to go to an online video converter. This one called free convert does the job. I need to drag that file from my downloads into the freeconvert.com. And then I'm going to choose your output. My output's just going to be MP4 again. So I'm just going to click convert, just see what happens. Okay, so it's converting it. So actually it needs to upload the file to their website first and then convert it and then let you download it again. But good thing you can see the progress. It's all pretty quick done. So then you need to download. Okay, so it's downloading the file and you can see if you open it up. All right, there's two files. Uh, let's have a look. So the one that is two minutes later, this is the this is the converted one. And I need to drag this into Premiere Pro. So let's open up Premiere Pro. Let's drag this back in. And you can see. It still doesn't have the video, but if you drag it in the second time, it'll work. You got to drag it in twice. The second time, it'll come with the video working. Okay, so it's not too inconvenient, but it is inconvenient because surely either Google or Adobe, both multi-billion dollar companies can work out a way so that if I have a video backed up on a Google Photos, I can import it into Premiere Pro without using another converter. 